Hi friends. Good evening, everyone. You might have heard Michael Porter's generic strategy so many times, isn't it? Today, in you know, quickly, let us see what is this Michael Porter's generic strategies. You might have heard cost leadership strategy, differentiation strategy, focus strategy. These are Michael Porter's generic strategies, isn't it? Think about it. You take any product, any industry, any business, any business, be it banking, be it insurance, be it a restaurant, be it a QSR, quick service, uh, you know, restaurants like uh, Domino's uh, or be it uh, any other product. It could be furniture, it could be a mobile phone. Okay, it could be anything under the sun. You can choose any business or it could be airlines. So, Think about it, whether this business is running on a model where they are trying to attract customers with least possible pricing in the industry and by giving them more discounts, more rebates and how they are generating business, how they are targeting customers, how they are pitching in, how they are pricing, how they are positioning themselves. If you look at airline industry, there are certain airlines which are competing based on the price. There are certain airlines which are not competing based on the price, but they give superior quality at a premium pricing, isn't it? You look at clothes, you look at accessories, you look at perfumes. So in every business, there are two categories of companies. One is fighting with prices. Another one is giving better quality giving more features, giving better service and charging premium prices. Isn't it? Isn't it? So basically what Michael Porter's different, this uh, generic strategy says is, you know, it is a matrix of one vertical row, one horizontal row. Okay. Vertically, first decide whether you are going to serve narrow segment of customers or you want to capture many segments of customers, which is called industry-wide. Say for example, say for example, Owen sir, I want to manufacture and sell toothpaste. Is it going to be a general toothpaste which everybody can use? Like Colgate, how they have been doing this? Or you want to identify a specific problem and you want to solve it. You want to identify a specific target of customers. Say, for example, bleeding teeth, okay, and uh, uh, poor gums, or it could be bad breath. It could be whitening teeth. It could be sensitivity. So these are the specific issues. So you look at Sensodyne, you look at Colgate. Colgate, in general, they manufacture a product. They get a product for many segments of customers. It can be, you know, aged customers or it can be mid middle-aged customers. It can be youngsters. It can be teenagers. It can be male. It can be female. It can be poor. It can be rich. So basically, Colgate started their journey with a toothpaste which anybody can consume. But Sensodyne, if you look at it, they started catering to and narrow based customers. So when you look at the market as segment of customers, various segment of customers, various segments of customers, are you going to target everyone? Or are you going to target only one particular segment or few segments? So on the, on the y-axis, your target customers, are you targeting many segments of customers, broad coverage of the industry or narrow? That is your y-axis. On the x-axis, on the x-axis, from where your competitive advantage comes. Your competitive advantage, is it coming from pricing lower, pricing lesser compared to the competitor? Are you trying to give you product at abnormally lower price so that people cannot even think of competing with you? The best example in India is Paralegy. Paralegy, when they sell Paralegy biscuits or poppins kind of products, you cannot beat them in the price because can you give a biscuit packet in less than 2 rupees? No way. You cannot. So this is cost advantage. So their advantage is coming from cost pricing lower. Another category is giving differentiation. Your, your advantage comes from 
the uniqueness in the product, like Rolex watch. So your advantage comes from uniqueness. So you are not concerned about the pricing. You are concerned about the reputation, like Rolls Royce. You are concerned about the quality. You are concerned about distinguishing features. You are concerned about many more things, not just the price. So look here. Look here. This is Michael Porter's generic strategies, if you observe. So above here, advantage. From where your advantage is coming? Is it coming from low cost or is it coming from uniqueness in the product? On the y-axis, if you observe vertically, what is the target scope? Many students do not understand what is the meaning of target scope. Target customers. What is your scope of the business? Okay, how many segments of market you are targeting? So it can be industry-wide, broad or it can be narrow. Pavan sir, I cannot compete with companies who are already established and they are catering to, you know, many segments of customers. I cannot compete with them. What am I supposed to do? Then you can go with narrow segment. Classic example I'll give you, Bajaj SimServe. It is a non-banking finance company. They know that they cannot compete with banks. They cannot compete with existing NBFC. So what they have done, you know, they are not entering into home loans or, you know, working capital loans or business loans or personal loans or jewelry loans. No, they entered into a niche segment. They focused on consumer electronics. That is the reason you go to any electronic store. Even if you want to buy a small grinder or a mixie, if you want to buy a refrigerator, if you want to buy a washing machine, there is a possibility for you to look at 6 EMIs, 9 EMIs, 12 EMIs. And this EMI scheme is given by Bajaj Finance. This is a business model. Even if you observe Miswak, Miswak toothpaste, they understood that they cannot fight with Colgate, Close Up, Pepsodent, and other brands. So, what they have done, you know, they started B2B, business to business. So, they started manufacturing small tube of toothpaste, which is maybe probably two or three times it can be used. That's all. It won't come for one week also. Small toothpaste. And they started giving it to hotels. Whether it is a small lodge or a five-star hotel, they'll give normally good morning kit. Good morning kit. One uh, use and throw toothpaste will be there and one small uh, uh, toothpaste will be there. Brush and toothpaste. So they targeted that kind of, you know, business. That is what we call focus. So this is Michael Porter's generic strategies. There can be low cost advantage. There can be product uniqueness advantage. And if you cannot compete with industry-wide broad category of customers, then you have to to narrow down your market segment and you need to identify a gap in the market where the existing players are not offering services for this particular category of customers and you pitch in, you target them. It is called niche. It is called focus. Again, focus can be of two types. It can be focus cost or it can be focused differentiation based on, you know, from where your advantage is coming. You understand? So this is Michael Porter's generic strategies. I hope you understood the concept now.